Hey, Lanky Cyclist here with the first installment of the 2022 Cyclocross vlog. You want to come out? You see your little voice? You want to come out? Oh, kitties. Bugs. It's only the middle of August, so still several weeks, if not maybe even a month away from the start of the race season. But today I figured I would walk through the equipment that I will be using in the upcoming cyclocross season. All right, so the bike that I will be using for the 2022 cyclocross season is my 2020 Santa Cruz Stigmata. This is generation three of the Stigmata. I've made a few videos about this bike. Raced it one time last year but I've made a few modifications this year to make it more cyclocross ready. And so let's talk about what those changes are. So the first thing you'll notice is that we ditched the front derailleur. I just feel like for off-road riding, one by is kind of the way to go. So just uh, less things to go wrong. And honestly, uh, when I think back to the practices, to the races that I did last year, I just wasn't using that 50 tooth uh, front chain ring very much at all. So yeah, so we ditched the front derailleur and went with this uh, 38 tooth absolute oval chain ring. I'll get into why I picked the 38 tooth chain ring, uh, but definitely the consensus was to go with a 40 tooth. Bro, that's weak, man. I ride a 46. So I used the gear ratio calculator on the Sheldon Brown website and with a 3811, which is the uh, hardest gear that I have on this bike right now, at 80 RPM, you're gonna do roughly 22.7 miles per hour. When I look back at my practices last year, the races that I did, my maximum speed was nowhere near 22.7 miles per hour. So I feel like I should be plenty geared with a 3811. And I would rather have a little bit easier gear you know, to get up those those hills, to deal with like the really gnarly kind of mucky stuff that will come here at some point, especially later in the season. So yeah, that's what I decided to go with. Also, I don't know, Absolute Black on their website says that a 38 rides more like a 40. I don't know if I believe all that hype, but we'll, uh, we'll see. For cyclocross season, I'm going to lose the bottle mounts. Uh, don't really need to take a drink during a 30 minute race. Once I start racing, I will probably also lose the computer mount because honestly, I really don't want to know how high my heart rate is. These are my Rolf Prima Aspen wheels. Uh, I used these as my road wheels for uh, a few years and I've decided to kind of repurpose these things as my kind of main racing cyclocross wheels, partly because they're light. I also uh, picked up these Challenge tires and I couldn't mount them on my DT Swiss wheels. I could only get them to fit on these uh, on these Rolf Primas. So that's part of the reason that I'm also using these wheels. On here, I have an 1134 tooth cassette. So decent amount of range, especially when paired up with the 38 in the front. So in terms of tires, I got these uh, baby uh, Limus. It's Limus is Latin for mud or silt or something like that. I don't know, I call them baby limas, but I think the Latin pronunciation is limus. These are uh, UCI legal tires here, uh, 700 by 33 millimeter tires. The regular limus tire, limus tire is, uh, is kind of a full out mud tire. These are sort of something kind of in between, kind of a good all conditions tire. You can see sort of the tread pattern. These are handmade tires, um, super supple, 300 TPI. Um, they are very much a joy to ride. I do kind of worry about these things a little bit. So I've really just tried to limit my use to these things for races. For practicing, I've been using these uh, Maxxis All-Terrain, also um, 700 by 33 millimeter tires. I raced on these tires once last year um, and they are, you know, Pretty, pretty darn good tires and, and pretty bomb proof, which I feel like is kind of the, the MO for Maxxis. A little bit more of like, kind of like an XC mountain bike tire where you get the, the bigger side knobs and then like the lower kind of more streamlined center knobs. These are my DT Swiss wheels that came stock with the Santa Cruz. 
have an 11-32-tooth uh, cassette uh, on here. And uh, yeah, these are the wheels I've been using for practice. Or if I just kind of go out for a long ride on the stick, like a mixed surface ride, which I've been doing quite a bit of that, um, where I just kind of ride out, I hit some single track, I hit some gravel, I do some road, kind of a whole mix of things. These are generally the tires that I am taking. In terms of pedals, I am using my Time Attack 8 pedals. Uh, nice kind of robust surface to, uh, to plant your foot on. You know, kind of your standard mountain bike pedals where you can clip in on either side. The Attack 8s are actually also adjustable, so I have released the, uh, the tension on these a fair amount just to make unclipping um, a little bit a little bit easier because I imagine I don't know I'm not the most skilled bike handler so I will be dismounting a, uh, a fair amount all right in terms of these shoes that we are using we're using these uh, Shimano XC 702s uh, these are brand new shoes for me so last season I used my clock Grand Tours. Uh, those are really a gravel shoe, so not particularly stiff. Wanted something stiffer for racing. Uh, I also wanted something with uh, some little bit better treads. Uh, the Quack Grand Tours are really adventure shoes, um, not really designed for running up muddy hills. Uh, and I had some serious Achilles problems last year uh, after doing the Krampus Cross race, which was Super muddy, super hilly. So yeah, I needed something with uh, a little bit more of an aggressive tread and also something that I could mount spikes to as well. These things worked just right. Usually wear like a 42 and a half. These are actually a 43, uh, but they seem to fit super well. I wanted laces, but um, yeah, I don't know. All the lace shoes I tried just, just didn't work. So we're using the boas. And I think when these things get caked in mud, uh, it'll probably be a little bit easier to clean off. Yeah, and I'm glad that I actually went up a half a size because uh, they had these red shoes in stock, which I just dig like red, orange, like kind of bright colored shoes. I feel like it just kind of helps you get seen a little bit more on, on the road. For spikes, picked up some Horst Engineering Cross Spikes. Got the Pro Kit, so we got uh, some short spikes, which are on the shoes already here. Some medium, some longs, and then we also got these uh, these awesome ice spikes here, which are uh, double as deadly weapons as well. I'll do a full look at these, um, but for right now, that's the spikes I'll be using for cyclocross season. So yeah, that's the current setup for right now. Total noob at this stuff. I mean, I've literally done two races before, so it's probably stuff that I'm not thinking about, or I don't know, maybe I'll get out and start using those tires, not like them. I don't know, we'll see, we'll need to change and adapt. If you have other suggestions or things that I should consider in terms of gear selection or equipment, please drop a comment down below. And uh, yeah, I will see you in the next vlog.